Hello, it's uh, Chef Paul here, and uh, I'm doing for uh, MP Sean Chan's English Afternoon Tea. And later on, so I think we have a, a afternoon tea set up, three, three layer ca ca caddy, right? So we're gonna put different things. We have chocolate, we have patty four, we have scones, we have tea, and then we have clotted creams and all, et cetera. So that's the second part. This is the first part, which is I'm going to do for sandwiches and show you how to make easy way of making shortbread cooking. Of course, you can do a lot of different finger sandwich, but I'm just going to do a, a four different type, which is very easy. Uh, as you can see, I got bread. Uh, uh, you can buy any bread, the square bread, the sandwich bread, or you can buy, oh, I prefer using Texas style, which is a little bit thicker and easy to handle. We put it in the fridge for maybe an hour or two hours. Uh, so it's easy to cut, easy to shape, any form you want. Uh, so uh, I'm having two types of bread. So one is a white, one is a whole wheat. I'm gonna have uh, unsalted butter. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna cream the butter. Uh, so uh, make it soft, it's easy to spread. So here, in the meantime, we have a sandwich is here. Uh, like we're gonna do a uh, ham sandwich. If you're in a hurry, there are a lot of, in the industry, we do a lot of shot carts, right? <laughs> so what they do is they take the butter and zap it for a few seconds. So it's easier to think. You know, obviously you don't want to put the butter out there for overnight because of food safety issue, because dairy. Dairy, you got to be careful. Okay. That's presumed that's okay. We, we can spread. As long as it's spreadable, we're going to go ahead and spread it. Okay. Look at that. We have a sliced ham, okay? Obviously, you can use any ham you like, okay? You are, there, are, there are so many different types of ham, smoked ham, uh, Virginia ham, square ham. Uh, so use whatever ham you like. I like to put one ham in the bottom, cheese in the middle. I put another ham on top, okay? And then uh, uh, if you want, I have mayonnaise, okay? You can put a little mayonnaise in, in Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of mayo. Okay, just a touch. Again, you spread them. Okay. All right. So can you see? You as you can see, ham in the bottom, cheese in the middle, and another ham. Well, people say, why do you put lettuce and all this thing? Because when you do a finger sandwich, you don't want it to be too fluffy because it's very hard to hold. So therefore. We don't put anything like lettuce or anything like this because that would create a cap. And then uh, it's very hard to hold it together and also very hard to cut it. So you have two here like this. So we use a bread knife. Bread knife is shredded. You know, uh, don't use a regular knife because it's going to very hard to slice it. And then make sure the bread is hard. If it's not hard enough, you can put it in the fridge for half an hour and all this stuff is firm up because then it's easier for you to cut it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we trim this, right? Trim this bread. Trim the edges. You can cut three. Do not press your finger too hard because otherwise you create dents in the, in the sandwiches. Otherwise it look very ugly. So it's a lightly hole, okay? And when you cut the bread, sandwiches, do not press down. You like chicksaw. In and out, okay? Like a chicksaw. So, and do not put too much pressure, otherwise your sandwich will be squashed. Can you see that? You see, we have a sandwich like this, okay? Okay, this is one part, all right? We're going to leave it here for a second. And then the next one we're going to go on is making roast beef. Roast beef, let's make it, uh, do it on the white again, okay? Because always think about when you're making sandwich, making food presentation, think about color contrast, okay? How do you think when you put in the plate, what color you want to, I mean, show? So again, with the roast beef, I'm going to spray some butter. Okay, you got roast beef good, go good with uh, Dijon mustard, okay? So we're gonna use Dijon mustard. 
Thank you. And uh, okay, again, we try to make this thing as, as flat as possible. Okay, so you make it flat. The English tea sandwich, you do not want to make your filling too high, too much. So I put some Dijon mustard. Okay. Okay. Again, because this bread is nice and firm, so therefore I do not put it in the fridge. Uh, because I did put it in the fridge before. So again, this one I'm going to do triangle. Okay, so again, take a trim all the edges. Okay, it's a triangle, four angle, this way. Turn around, this way, equal part, four angle. This again, as you can see, this is how it looks. Okay, we're gonna put this one here. Okay, okay, then we're gonna do square. Okay, the cucumber sandwich, when you do a cucumber sandwiches, you use English cucumber, you gotta slice it like very thin, like a paper thin. If your knife skill is not good enough to do using a knife, then what you, I suggest you use a slicer. You know, you can buy a mandolin, so the slicer, you can slice it, okay? And by using a cream cheese, okay, you see, cucumber is a plain thing. There's no flavor. So you want to enhance the flavor in the cucumber sandwich. So what I do is I take some salt, right? Because cream cheese again is plain, okay? So I put a little bit of salt, just a drop of Worcestershire, a little bit of Tabasco, Gonna cream it together so it's make this one a little bit heavier flavor than cucumber so it goes well with the cucumber okay again you can do anything you want okay with the spread okay like people some people put chutney mango chutney you know like different type of chutney that you can do okay Okay, this is a cream cheese, we cream it well. Okay, so this one we're gonna do whole wheat, right? Okay, take the cream cheese, spread them. Because, because this is a cucumber, uh, is, is no flavor, therefore I spread the cream cheese a little bit heavier. Okay, here, turn, you can put it right here. Okay, let's put more. Okay. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna cover this, right? So this is, remember, this is square, okay? We're gonna cut in square. A cucumber sandwich in, 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 in England, like in Great Britain, are very popular for afternoon tea, okay? So it's almost a must when you do afternoon tea. Okay, as you see, you can do this. The next one is an interesting one. It's a little bit more work. It's a pinwheel. It's like a roulade, okay, round. Okay, so this one, it will take some time. And this one you need, after when you finish, it's best thing is put it in the fridge for half an hour and an hour. And then you take it out and cut it, okay? Okay, pinwheel. So we're going to use the bread, again, we're going to cut, trim, trim this, press, see I got rolling pin here, because you want to flat this thing down, so easy to roll, otherwise when you roll it, if it's thick, it will break, okay, so, okay, it's flat, 
all right so we can do another one and put on the knee here because we're gonna roll it so as you can see all right so again this one we're gonna put butter All right, we can use the same cream cheese red bell which we use for the cucumber or you can use a plain cream cheese, okay? Uh, so, you spread the cream cheese. Okay. So we, I'm using an Atlantic smoked salmon which is a little bit uh, a lighter color. If you use a, a West Coast smoked salmon which is sockeye, and that one is like more pink. Okay. We can line them up nicely. I put some dew here in the middle. Or just or you can sprinkle anywhere. Okay. So what we do is almost like making a sushi. Okay. So you roll this. Okay. Pull. Like pull in. Then use your this thing again, so you can roll it. <clears throat> okay, if it's too, we can turn around because it give you a better. Okay, so it's roll. So you tight this. So this one, say example, we're gonna put in the fridge, right? For half an hour, so it gets set. So take out this. Okay, as you can see, okay? You can cut it like half an inch, right? Even you can cut it a little bit angle as well. You see that? Anyway, this is how it look, right? And uh, so the next segment, uh, we're gonna do shortbread cookies. 